Hey everyone, I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. Welcome to the last Friday Power Flow in January. And I'm sure I could say something really profound about that. But instead, I'm just gonna say, come on to your mat and come on into your downward facing dog. Because you know what? Anytime, I believe anyway, anytime you come into your body, whether it's downward dog or child's pose or any pose, it's pretty profound. It's pretty inspiring. If you are on your mat right now, in your downward dog or in your child's pose or even in a different pose, starting to feel your body and starting to feel your breath and really starting to feel where you are. Allow yourself to feel how inspiring this is. You are inspiring. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. And here, go ahead and bend your right knee a lot. Let your left heel sink a little closer to your mat. Maybe it touches down. Lengthening through the back of your left leg. At the same time, your right hand pressing down and away. So you get this nice counter stretch from your right fingertips up through your hips and then down your left leg. And then switch it up. Bend your left knee a lot. Let your right heel sink towards the ground. It doesn't have to make contact. And at the same time, a little more press down and away through your left hand. Notice your breath. And then come on back through center, back to your downward dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet. And come on into your rag doll. You can adjust where you have your feet, how you've set your feet. As you come into your rag doll, you can bring opposite hand into the crook of opposite elbow, or rest your hands on a block, or even let them dangle. I like a bend in my knees here, especially at this point of my practice. A nice reminder to soften. You can let your head hang down. Take a breath in. And a breath out. You might shift your weight around a little bit so you can feel what happens when you bring more weight into your left foot or to your right foot or to your heels, the balls of your feet and your toes. Right? This is intentional. You are intentionally exploring your balance, playing around with what balance feels like for you. Take a deep breath in. Then a long breath out. If you're holding your elbows, release your hands, walk your feet closer together to touch, and come on up to stand. As you come up, let your shoulders roll back, reach your hands high, look up, take a big inhale, hands to your heart, exhale. Set your gaze here, lower your gaze or close your eyes. And together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, sweep your hands high, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Soft knees as you fold is nice. Halfway lift your flat back. Walk yourself out to your high push up, high plank. Shoulders over wrists, knees lifted or lowered. Take a big inhale, forward and halfway down, low push up, chaturanga. You can come all the way down or drop your knees. Upward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Tops of your feet on your mat, maybe a bend in your elbows. Take a peek over your right shoulder. And as you look to the right, you can let your left shoulder come forward a little bit. And then come through center and look over your left shoulder. Let your right shoulder come forward a little bit. Inhale, come back to center, a big breath in. Exhale, back to your downward dog. You can add in a child's pose at any point during your practice. You can add in breath. Here, take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Take another deep breath in, fill up. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, 
Lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Step or jump back. Upward dog, take a full breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Let your heels soften, let your head soften. Not just your, your physical head hanging down, but all that stuff in your head. Can you take a deep breath in? And then really uh, empty out and soften into where you are. Take another big inhale, exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, rise and reach and lift. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a full breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Here, step your right foot forward. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Spin your back foot flat and come on up. Even out your hips if there's room for that. So just notice if your left hip has come back. Bring it a little bit forward. Bend into your front knee. Feel if there's room for that. Feel you have some room for yourself right here, right now to explore your body, explore balance. Play around with your edge. Hands reach high, heart lifts, take a big inhale. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog. Exhale, left foot steps forward, warrior one, come on up. On this side, it might be that you can bring your right hip forward and your left hip back. Really connect through your right foot, especially the baby toe side of your right foot. And then lift and lengthen through your right leg, dip into your front knee. Check in with your hands. If your hands are up, let this be intentional, long through your arms. Breathe to the tips of your fingers. Take a big inhale. Exhale, hands come back to your mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog, a full inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Downward dog or child's pose. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. <sighs> Another deep inhale here. Exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, come up. Feet together or apart, wave your body a little more in your heels. So go ahead, sit down and sit back, lift your heart, take a big breath in, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, Bakasana, Crow Pose. So go ahead, you can set your hands about shoulder width, big bend in your elbows, point them straight back. Come to your tiptoes, knees above elbows. Now if you wanna sit this out in your squat, you can, but you can do this, you can put your hands on your mat, knees above elbows, shift forward, you can keep your feet down. Maybe you lift one foot, maybe you lift both feet. Lift your chest, lift your heart, take a big inhale. Chaturanga, low push up. Step or jump back. Upward dog, take a breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, come on up. Open out, warrior two. A little more space between your feet here. Front foot flat and straight, big bend in your knee. Palms to the sky. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Left hand can come to your left leg, to your low back, or all the way around to the top of your right thigh. So feel what variation works best for you. Take a big breath in here, exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up, upward dog. Inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, rise up. Open out, warrior two. Deep bend in your front knee. Long through your back leg, long through your arms and your fingers. I just noticed I have dust from my wood stove on my pants. I was getting my fire ready before I got on my mat this morning. Spin your palms to the sky. Take your left hand high. Reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. So here, yes, feel what variation works best for you. And you can be inspired by the fact that you are on your mat right here, right now. Take another big inhale. Exhale. Hands come back down. Chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog. Take a full breath in. Downward dog. Breath out. Take a big inhale. And a long exhale. <sighs> Another deep breath in here. Exhale. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. 
Utkatasana. Sit low, come up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps, warrior one, rise up. Open out, warrior two. Right hand high, reverse your warrior. Side angle, Parsva Konasana. Right elbow on your right thigh, or you can slide your right hand down, inside or outside your front foot. Left hand reaches up, so you're lifting up, even as you connect down, you're lifting up. And then go ahead and extend your left arm forward. And feel you're lengthening not just your left arm, but both sides of your body. You're lengthening through your back leg, lengthening and deepen your breath. And maybe most importantly, lengthening the amount of time that you are here, not just in the pose, but here, present in your body for yourself. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Inhale, top arm goes up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Push off with your back foot. Let your right hand reach down for the ground or for a prop. Left foot reaches up and back. Press through your left heel, left hand high. Take your time, long and strong through your right leg. Take a deep breath in, left foot down beside your right, front of your mat. Inhale, come on up to stand, rise and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Come up, right foot is set just a little to your right. Bring your hands to your heart. Big breath in, now twist to your right. Left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. You can have your back knee lifted, you can bring it down. Whatever hand variation you like, again, what variation works for you? Be inspired by the fact that you are the person on your mat right here, right now. You are moving through this practice, doing this for yourself, one breath at a time. Hands can stay together, they can open up. Left hand can come under your left shoulder or the arm can come on the outside of your right leg. And you can keep your top arm high or you can wrap it around behind your back. Now this is a start of your full bind. So if you wanna play around with that, go for it, but stay with your breath, stay with physical balance, stay with inspiration, right? enjoy yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. On your next inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Come on back to your side angle, Parsva Konasana. And this time, add in your half bind or your full bind here. So you can absolutely play around with doing more. You can challenge yourself in this way, but you can also explore taking a little more care. Big breath in, long breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. Release your hands, top arm goes back up, let it bring you up to your warrior two. Right hand high, reverse your warrior, back to your half moon. Lift off with that back foot, right hand reaches for the ground. Press out through your left heel, left hand goes up now. Start to bring your lifted left foot out to the left and forward. So you're leaning back, you might catch a peek at your left toes. Take a deep breath in, left foot down beside the right. Nice work, inhale. Rise up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a full breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale and a long exhale. <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. Once more. Big breath in here, fill up. Exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, come up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in. Downward dog, 
breath out. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one, rise up. Open out to your warrior two. Take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Side angle, left elbow, left thigh, right arm up for the sky. Here again, left elbow can stay. We can slide that hand down. Sometimes taking your hand to the outside of your foot, not a, a big adjustment, but it can feel really different. You might be able to lean back a little bit more and extend your right arm forward. Now, pay attention to your left knee so that it's tracking over your left ankle. Soften your fingers, soften your toes, take a breath in and a breath out. Bring your top arm up, come back up to your warrior two, left hand high reverse, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Push off, nice and easy. So yeah, a little bit of push off with that back foot, a little bit of momentum, but really intentional. Lengthening up through your left leg, press out through your right heel. Might be able to lean back a little bit here, a big breath in, and then release. Right foot down, hand down, front of your mat. Inhale, rise up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take your breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Come on up. Ooh. <laughs> right foot steps forward, crescent lunge, come on up. Draw your hands to your heart. Take your big inhale and twist to your left, right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. Pressing your hands together long through your back leg. Back knee can be lifted if that works better. And then you can separate your hands. Right hand can come under your right shoulder if you want to explore the bind, right arm on the outside of your left leg, top arm comes around behind your back. And then you can play around with hooking your hands or getting your hands close together under your left thigh. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Gently letting your hands come together or close together. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. On your next inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. Take your left hand high, reverse your warrior, back to your side angle. Left elbow, left thigh, right arm up to the sky. Now your half bind or your full bind here. And it doesn't have to be a bind, it doesn't have to be a half bind. It can be child's pose or another more restorative pose for you. But you are the person showing up right here, right now. Allow yourself to really feel this. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. Here, reach your top arm up. Come up to your warrior two, left hand high reverse, back to your half moon. Push off with your back foot, left hand lands, right hand reaches up. Maybe a little more lift out of your left hand. Press through your right heel and start to bring your right foot out to the right and forward. Yeah, lean back a little bit, take your time with it. A big inhale, right foot down beside your left, front of your mat. Inhale, sweep high, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a deep breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. <sighs> take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Once more. Big inhale here, fill up. As you exhale, step or jump your feet through your hands. Sit down, lie down. Set up for your bridge or your wheel. Set your feet flat, about hips width distance apart. And as you inhale, come on up. Lift up, lift your hips. You can interlace your fingers under your low back here. Wiggle your shoulders under if you like, if you're in bridge. Maybe use a prop under your hips, like a block, or even your hands under your hips in your bridge. Take a big inhale, and a 
big exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. You can be in bridge and stay in bridge, or you can come up for your wheel. You can also come down for rest. Intentional. And again, feeling. You are right here, right now. You are doing this. Let your breath fill your body. Let your intention and presence fill your heart. Take a really big inhale. And then nice and easy. Oh, come on down. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees to the sides for Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Oh, draw your knees to your chest. And come on into your happy baby. You can grab your feet or the backs of your thighs. Sometimes a little movement is nice here. Extending one leg or the other or both if you like. Keep your spine long. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. And draw your knees into your chest. Rock forward and back a couple of times. And then rock up to your boat pose, Navasana. Bent knees is a nice place to start. Shoulders back, heart high. Extend through your legs. You can extend your hands forward or up. Hold for 10 and breathe. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower to a hover. Look at your toes. Hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to your boat pose. Come back up to Navasana, heart high, lift up for five, four, three, two, one, cross your ankles, rock forward, plant your hands, make your way back to your downward facing dog. You can move through a vinyasa or just step back, take a big inhale and a big exhale. Feet together, a little bit forward, Right leg high, bend your right knee, your down dog hip opener. You can let that foot pull you over, flip your dog if you like. And from here, come on back around if you're over and come into your half pigeon. Take your right knee forward, left leg back. Add in a little lift, deep breath in, and then lengthen and fold. Take a long inhale. And a big exhale. The last Friday in January. So I would just say what I've been saying throughout this practice. To show up, be present. It's pretty profound. It's inspiring. And you are the person showing up. Allow yourself to feel this. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And from here, Start to come up, sweep your back leg forward. So it comes straight out in front of you. Take your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Take your right hand back behind you. Fingers point back, press into your right hand, press into your right shin. Lift up, lift your hips up. You can extend through your left leg and your left hand can reach up or you can drop your left hand back, drop your head back. A little bit of a heart opener, lengthening from your left fingers to your left toes. Take a really long breath in, and then gently release. Come on down, cross your ankles, rock forward, plant your hands, and come on back to your downward dog. Add in a vinyasa if you like, or simply step back. Feet together and forward, left leg high, bend your left knee. Go ahead and let the foot pull you over if you like. Work with your right knee down if that feels better for you. And here, 
half pigeon. Take your time setting it up, whether it's this variation or the variation on your back. Take your breath in and then settle in. Letting everything slow down just for a breath or two. Especially noticing busyness in your thinking mind. When you notice it, when you notice that you're distracted, then you can let yourself slow down. And as you slow down, feel where you are. Feel the whole of what you are doing. So often we look to other people for inspiration. But you are right here, right now. You are inspiring to me, truly. This is part of why I do what I do. Because I see what you do, how you show up. And that inspires me, that inspires me then, to keep showing up. Here, come on up. Sweep your back leg forward. Right foot comes straight out in front of you. Right leg is long, left foot towards your right inner thigh. Left hand comes back behind you, fingertips point back. Press into your left shin. Your left hand, lift your hips. Right leg lengthens, the right foot can come flat. Reach your right arm up. And if you want to drop your right hand back and drop your gaze back, you can. And take a big inhale. Gently come on down, sit down, lie down, draw your knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze. Drop your knees over to your right for your twist, any variation that you like here. And come through center and take your knees to the other side. Come back to center. Any last poses or adjustments that feel right and set up your Shavasana. You can take your legs up or out or work with a variation that gives your low back a little more support if you like. Part of the, the beauty of this practice. We practice together. We show up for ourselves. We show up for each other. We inspire ourselves and each other. We create connection and community. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out.
fingers and toes. Bring some movement back to your body. And drawing your knees into your chest, rolling to one side and making your way to seated. Hands to your heart here. You can set your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes. Together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Thanks everyone. Really, thanks for practicing with me today. It is inspiring to me to see you all showing up on your mat and in your life. Allow yourself to be your own inspiration because you're inspiring other people. We're inspiring each other. So thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I'm Heather. I'm the Bent Yogi. I'll see you on your mat.